again, our complex question is, what affects the rate at which ice melts? And the materials we used. For today's experiments, we used regular table salt and a regular sugar. We used a teaspoon of each, and we added them to regular tap water, all at the same temperature. We also used a glass of or different amounts of ice in different sizes. Hi, I'm Ashley Gilmer. And I'm Jana Fisher. And our question is, does adding mass to the water affect the rate the ice melts? And our claim is by adding a substance to water, it increases the rate of melting. And the list of materials we have, we have three plastic cups, salt, sugar, ice cubes, and water, and a teaspoon. Um, we have H2O with salt, H2O, and H2O with sugar. They are all filled with water at the halfway point. And we are now going to take the teaspoon and add a teaspoon of sugar to the H2O with sugar. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of salt to the H2O with salt. And then in each cup, we are each going to take one, put it in the H2O with salt and the H2O with sugar and then one in the H2O with water, and observe what happens. As we can see, as far as now, I notice that the salt seems to be melting faster than the sugar and the water. Um, in conclusion, we found that when we added the substance of sugar and salt, that it melted faster than it did in water. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm part of the class at Oakland University in the SCS 105 science class for elementary teachers. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit of what it all means that we've done today in our experiments. For the first one, we asked if the, temp or if the substance of the liquid would create um, the ice to melt a little bit faster. So what we did is we added salt and we added sugar, which um, created more mass in the liquid, which we used was water. And then that mass created more particles. So the more particles you have, the more friction is created when the particles bump in together. And therefore, it creates heat. And when the heat is in the, in the water, um, the ice will me melt faster. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Gina. And our question, does the size of the ice cube affect the rate of melting? And we are claiming the smaller the ice cube, the faster it will melt. So what we used were three different cups, and we're going to use a big amount of ice cubes, a lesser amount, and a really small amount of ice cubes. Let's see which one melts faster. The large one seems to not be melting as quickly as the small one. Proving your claim to be right. Hi. In our second experiment today, we learned that temperature plays a major factor in the rate of ice melting. What we did is we used um, different amounts of ice cubes and we put them into three different glasses. We had the same amount of water in each glass and the temperature of the water was all at room temperature. 
For the first glass, we filled it with a large amount of ice. And the second glass, we filled it with a smaller amount of ice. And for the third glass, we had the least amount of ice. What we learned is, is the amount of ice affects the melting rate. Because in our first glass, we used a very large amount of ice, and the liquid that was inside the glass, um, the heat and the cold, or the hot and the cold, equalized. So it changed the temperature very little. But in the third glass that we used, we used a very small amount of ice. So the water stayed warmer than the ice cubes, and therefore it created a change and melting in the state of matter. Our question this time is, does the amount of water affect the rate of ice melting? And our claim is, the more water, the faster the ice will melt. Our um, objects that we used are cups and ice this time. Um, we filled one cup practically full, filled another cup half full, and one fourth full. In conclusion, the fuller cup melts faster than the other two. Hi. Now we learned from our third experiment today that the amount of water will actually affect the rate of melting ice. We had three glasses of water again, and we had the same room temperature water that we used before. Only this time we added different amounts. We had a full glass of water, we had a half glass of water, and we had a quarter cup of water. And then we added the same amount of ice cube to each one. But what we learned a little differently this time is that the full glass of water actually melted the ice faster. That is because even though the temperature stayed the same, there are more particles in the glass of water that was full than there was in the other two glasses and those particles create friction when they bump into each other. Then that friction will actually turn into a heat energy or a thermal energy, which is sometimes called, and therefore that creates the melting of the ice. Our complex question was, what affects the rate of melting ice? In experiment one, we learned that when adding a substance like uh, sugar or salt, it would affect the melting rate of the ice cube. As like in experiment two, we tested the size of the ice cube and determined the melting rate. And in experiment three, we tested the different amounts of water. The fuller cup, we found that the fuller cup, the ice melts faster because there are more particles moving around and creating more friction. Same as in experiment one with the salt and the sugar.